Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel, this is my basic journey. I live and travel in my minivan with my dog, Joey. He's over there. Hey, Joe. <laughs> We're currently at Love's. We came down from Lake Havasu City this morning and I stopped at the Love's in Quartzsite to take a shower, but we are not staying here. I'm going someplace I've never been before. Yuma. <laughs> yes, we're heading down to Yuma today. We're going to find some more free camping down there and hopefully a little bit more secluded because I feel like since RTR happened, I have just been surrounded by a lot of people. Not that that's a bad thing, but you guys know me. I do like my space. And so my friends and I are going to go find a spot near Yuma that's kind of away from all of the people because we have just been flooded with people for the last like three or four weeks. So. Yay, we're going to Yuma. Take the next right onto Keene Street. have made it to our new camping spot. We're down by Mitri Lake. They have a whole bunch of free camping all around the lake. We'll be here for a little while, just enjoying the sights, enjoying the spot. Oh, yes, it feels good. You know, today when I was driving, it just felt really good to be on the road. And it was about, I don't know, two and a half hours, um, about an hour to Quartzsite and then about an hour and a half here. It just felt really good to drive. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it because we've been in the same spot for so long that, I don't know, we were just ready. We were ready to go. And so it feels nice. We're in a new spot. It's really chilly today. The high is like 60 or something, which is a lot lower than it has been. But apparently next week it's going to get up to 90 degrees. So, but yeah, I'm excited. Welcome to Mitchery Lake. I don't even know if that's how you say it. It's M-I-T-T-R-Y. I will leave coordinates below. I usually do for the free spots we find, so. Mitchery Lake, you guys. Sorry in advance for any wind noise, but I wanted to show you guys our camp. Yay! And uh, as soon as we moved in, some neighbors moved in too, but what can you do? What can you do, you know? But I like our spot. I like our camp. We have an awesome fire pit. Got tons of firewood to burn. Oh. <sighs> And it's pretty gray today. It was raining earlier and it's pretty cold, which is like unusual for this area. But I'm getting ready to uh, set up camp, take everything out of my Thule, set up a bit. Do you guys remember when I bought this sun shelter when I was in Idaho? I finally took it out of the box and put it up with the help of two others. And let me tell you, it was kind of a trip. But we did it! And it's blocking some wind and the rain that randomly started. <laughs> Look at all those raindrops. What? I feel like he's right outside my van. Good morning, Joey. You ready to go outside, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Come 
Come out, Joe. Morning, bud. Well, the first thing I have to do is set up some stuff because I did not set up yesterday. Well, you guys, I just set up my privacy tent. I wanted to show you how much it's like destroyed. So you guys can see like the cloth has pretty much come off the entire bottom part. It's only held on by like a few parts. And then once those little parts go, this thing is donezo. <laughs> You can see like all sides are like that. Yep. And then the zipper is completely broken. So as you can see, it just doesn't work most of the time. It made it what, like three months almost? And this one was like $80 with tax and everything. So stupid. And the bottom one does the same thing. Like if I pull it up, it just has big old gaps like this. But that's okay. It does its job by uh, having some privacy to do my business. That's all that matters. All right, let's set up the rest of our stuff and get some coffee made. Hey, Joe? He's like, I just want to go back inside. Okay. Also, another sad story of something that broke is my stove. You guys know I just got it not that long ago, um, but a heavy wind took it down. And now the um, pipe or whatever connects the propane to that has like a leak in it now. And so it just leaks propane. So we're going to be making our coffee on our isobutane backpacking stove and I'm going to save this because I got a whole bunch of oven stuff to cook in this oven. So I'm going to save my propane for that and just use the isobutane to make coffee. Even though it takes much longer, that's okay. Scooch over. Scooch over. Thanks, bud. <laughs> You're a smart boy. So this morning's coffee time is dedicated to editing. I'm a little behind right now, so I really need to catch that up so I can get videos out for you guys. So I'll see you in a few hours because it's going to take a while. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just sitting here minding my own business, drinking my coffee and editing some things, and then all of a sudden, a siren goes off outside. And I'm not really sure what it means. Am I supposed to take shelter? I mean, it was very short-lived. It only, like, went off one time, so maybe it was some sort of test. Um, I do know that they test things there. <laughs> we looked it up yesterday to find out what it was. And it's like a military testing site, so they test, like, weapons and vehicles and all sorts of things there. So I'm guessing sirens is part of that? I don't know. Four hours later, and I finally finished my video. And now I'm going to make some lunch. It's a nice day out today, you guys. Beautiful. So I've been pretty obsessed with my new oven, I'm not going to lie. And so I've been trying all these different kinds of foods in it. We're going to try one of these um, vegan breakfast sandwiches. It has a meatless spicy chorizo, plant-based egg and cheese. 
And then I also am going to try this burrito, Protein Supreme. And that has like a, a meatless sausage crumble, smoky bacon, and steakless strips with a dairy-free cheddar and seasoned tofu scramble. Do those not sound delicious? Yum. Let it cook up in my new oven. Wow, you guys, it's so nice out today. Joey and I are going to go for a little walk and check out this area we're in. It's so pretty. And there is a lake, and I think we can get to it if we like go up this hill over here. So we're going to try so we can see the lake. Right, you guys this is where I'm gonna end this video but I hope you had fun coming along with me on just an average day of my nomadic life we came to Yuma Arizona we're at Mitri Lake there's a whole bunch of free camping here I love finding new free places to camp and this one was really great since it's near water and it's pretty and it's pretty private and secluded like you don't have neighbors right on top of you which I highly enjoy so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!